Hi guys, it's the Walking Zero Zoo Dead here, King of the Anime and Manga Boxes, and a lover of all things geeky here on YouTube. So, welcome back to Game Vault. This is a segment of my channel where I pick a nostalgic childhood favourite game to let's play, or I take something out of my gaming back catalogue that I've never had the chance to play before or finish, and I basically play it. Today, we're playing a very, very special childhood favourite game of mine, and that is Resident Evil 2. Yo, to me, this is still arguably the best game in the franchise, and I still think it's better than Resident Evil 4, in my opinion. Um, I did a special, like, love letter retrospective video on Resident Evil 2, so go check that out. Now, in the comment section down below, I want to know from you guys out there, what was your favourite moment from Resident Evil 2? Hi guys! Welcome to Game Vault. Welcome to my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. We're going back to Raccoon City. It's been many a year, and I'm really hyped for it. Terrible oh, disaster. I used to love this intro. It's so good. A mutagenic toxin created by the International Enterprise. Naughty, naughty umbrella. They're bioweapons. <laughs> I'm psyched. So I'm going to be playing this with uh, Claire Redfield, mainly because I recently just did a let's play with Leon. So, and I actual, I actual prefer Claire. Um, even as a character, I prefer Claire. Claire's one of my favourite Resident Evil characters. Which, you know, it goes against the norm of all the Resident Evil fans out there loving, like, Leon, but no. I'm a big fan of old Claire. Umbrella Corporation's Yo! Five. I haven't played Claire's uh, campaign in a really long time, so this is going to be really cool. Unfortunately, you get that shitty little crossbow thing, don't you? Yo, there she is. I haven't watched this cutscene in such a long time. It used to really freak me out as a kid. I really didn't like the zombies in the diner. They really freaked me out. <laughs> but then again, I was like, I don't know, 12. There she is, looking like a beast. Finally here. That awesome jacket. If you don't know, Chris has got a leather jacket in the Star's office that's basically exactly the same as that jacket. Really cool. Yo, there's the trucker knocking him out. What was with that guy? He had old rotting flesh. That was a big old bite. I'm s I cannot wait for any information on Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh god, it's gonna be so amazing. Hello. Hello, is anyone around? Anyone here? Yo, look at those terrible PlayStation 1 cutscene graphics. You gotta love them. Uh, I've said this like a loads of times before, uh, but hello. these pre-rendered PlayStation graphics, then. Oh, look at this! <laughs> brains, bitch, give me those brains. Yo, pre-rendered graphics and tank controls, they're still my most favourite time in like, gaming history for me. I love it. The nostalgia. Oh, Claire, you are on deep, deep shit. Run, girl. Yeah, these zombies used to creep me out big time when I was a kid. <laughs> Get down! Wait, don't shoot! Get down! It's your knight in shining armor, Leon. We can't stay out here. Head to the. I loved how It'll both of these safe. characters' stories like intertwine, especially in the cutscenes. It's so good. Oh, there's the fat zombie. We won't see until Resident Evil Three. There. Get in that police car. Buckle up. Okay. <laughs> Buckle up, kids. If there wasn't any wiser words in this game. What's going on? I arrived in town and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. I've always wondered, like, how did Claire and Leon get past those blockades? Yeah. First day on the job. It's crazy. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. My name's Leon Kennedy. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. <laughs> Oh no, zombie trucker! Big Red! We're gonna call the trucker Big Red. Hey, what's that crazy maniac doing? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take well, that was lucky, wasn't it? <laughs> How they didn't ever know that zombie was in the back of that fucking sea, I don't know. Ridiculous. <laughs> I guess you gotta find out some way of uh, separating them. See you later, motherfucker. You okay? Still Are you okay? 
Certainly are, they buckled up. Big Red, what are you doing? Hardly knew you. Oh, look at that big explosion. Claire. And so begins Resident Evil 2. Yes. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Get to that police station. Okay. Don't worry about the hordes of zombies. They were parted by an inescapable destiny. The worst nightmare, Resident Evil 2. Yo. Oh, we're starting off on the fiery streets of Raccoon City. I used to be able to do this little run here perfectly without firing off a shot or being touched. Let's see if I can still do it all these years later. Oh, he's got past him. Can we get to the legendary Kendo gun shop without firing off a single round? He might be able to do it. Hello, Mr. Kendo. Senor Kendo. Freeze. If you don't know Mr. Kendo, what a brave man he used to go around the streets of Raccoon City dropping off ammunition, creating Barry Burton's Raging Bull Magnum handgun. This guy's a beast. Oh, do I want to pick up that dirty little crossbow off you? That's the question. Sorry about that, babe. He's also a bit of a sleazebag. Sorry about I that, babe. You were one of them. What's going on in this town? What's going on in this town? Zombies! Zombies are eating everyone. Clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong. Yeah, I think it's in the N64 version that you get like um, like a couple of notes to do with uh, Mr. Kendo, which is uh, really cool. He's a cool character. Let's have a little peekaboo around his shop. So usually, um, I think if you run out of the back of this, I'm not going to pick up any ammo. This, yeah, there we go. here's the window breaking. No, Mr. Kendo. <laughs> We hardly knew ye. Ah! Apparently he was at one point going to be an actual uh, side character. As well as like Officer Marvin. Oh, look at that. that I didn't realise that zombie had some darts in him. Kendo, you're an animal. You, you, you nearly took down one zombie. Not like that punk ass Leon. <laughs> oh shit. Motherfucker. How dare you, I kick your head. Your name's Oberon. Oberon Martel. He stopped breathing. He has. So, if you don't know, on the new DualShock version of this game, you can put in a cheat for infinite ammunition, which I never ever knew. Um, because to be fair, actually, I never played the DualShock version. I was always uh, playing it on the regular one when it first came out. So you go into configuration, you hold R1 and you press square 10 times, you get infinite ammo in any gun you pick up. Usually I would never ever use this, um, but because this is like a game vault, piss around, have a bit of fun, nostalgia, um, I thought, yeah, why not? Let's, let's have a little bit of a play around with some infinite ammo. Um, let's mess some zombies up. Let's do some rapid fire. Bop, 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 bop. Have that, you bastards. Pedigree charm, you can have some too, don't worry. I used to hate this gun back in the day. I mean, what a little piece of crap. Leon gets a shotgun. He gets that bloody automatic handgun with the stock. I mean, come on now. What does Claire get? <laughs> Probably the crappiest grenade launcher in the entire series. <laughs> Shame on you. I'm hoping when we get this Resident Evil remake that Claire gets something decent. So I'll be, like, really disappointed. I'm hoping we get new weapons. You can have it too, mate. Since I've got infinite ammunition, why not? Let's just... It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, how did I miss you? But I think I've got your friend... What? Are they passing through his head? <laughs> that looked like that passed through the dude's head to me. Oh, this brings back so much nostalgia running through the streets in Raccoon City. I don't know, uh, what are your thoughts on Resident Evil 2? Look at these bad boys eating that. Oh, no! That policeman getting eaten. What are your thoughts on the Raccoon City? Uh, take me back to your childhood. What, what were your first thoughts running through the streets of Raccoon City if you're a fan of like Resident Evil 1 and you're like, oh, you've always wanted to go in Res uh, to, into Raccoon City and see what it's like. Yeah. Oh yeah, so in the N64, it's here. 
like you can open up this briefcase this that briefcase and um you can basically uh get a little notes on a kendo i believe that's where it is i've never had the n64 version it's, what <laughs> aiming terrible <laughs> Yes, usually, um, I wouldn't even fuck with these guys, I'd just be running past them. <laughs> uh oh! That's my mistake, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, get off me, you bastard! I used to really like these, like, little, uh. Oh man, I'm hurt. <laughs> How am I hurt? That's terrible. I used to love those little pre rendered cars with all the dead bodies on them and stuff. Um, if you didn't actually know, if you come to here without picking up any items whatsoever, Splicey Splicey, you get Zombie Brad Vickers. So let's go see our friend Zombie Brad. Oh, Chicken Heart himself. Hello, Brad. <coughs> so Brad is tough as fuck. Look at those big scratch marks. The nemesis ruined him. But you got to think, like, cannon wise, does that even make sense? Like, in the time wise, oh my god, Brad's taking some bullets, alright. He's gonna get back up, I'm sure. Vickers? Yep, yep, here we go. This is for leaving me in the forest, you bastard. I've blown his arm off. <laughs> and you get a really special key off him. We will take the special key. Yay, we will. And what that does is you can basically use the costumes in a room that I'll show you later. So that takes care of old zombie Brad. <laughs> Let's go into the old police station. Ah, oh, this old nostalgic cutscene. It's great. Some good stuff. I love the music. Uh, the hallway music was amazing. It'd be stuck on my head like Pokemon music when I was a kid. Look at it. Yo, I can't wait to see a remade version of this bad boy. So we're going to go see our good friend Marvin. And uh, I've got a bit of Resident Evil trivia for you if you're an anime fan. <gasps> oh, Marvin. Mate, you had a battle. So if you look you on the lockers, the names on there say Jojo, which is actually a Catcom uh, reference to Jojo's oh, Bizarre Adventure, the manga, which is like massively Claire. influential Claire on like the last 30 I'm years of manga and anime. And um, you know, I, I'm a big, big fan him. of Jojo. You'll probably see Over some Jojo videos on my channel. So Chris, yeah, that's a cool Chris little bit of uh, a little bit, little Easter egg there the for the Jojo fans out there. Has disappeared. Oh, Marvin must have we got wrecked. Have like, what has happened to him? I mean, his, his guts what are all happened? bloody. He's got blood splattered everywhere. About there it is. There's the Jojo. There was is it Resident Evil, uh, like Dark Side Chronicles, or whichever one it is? Uh, you get to see a little bit more of how uh, like Marvin helps some people escape, which is pretty cool. City. I'm hoping in the remake we get to see more of this guy. Chris uh, and, and also more like surviving members. police officers would actually be like a really cool little thing. Discovered that umbrella. Was behind it was all everything. umbrella and no one believed them. At They're all the idiots. Their own lives. But no one believed them. No one believed them. Well, who would believe them in a, Are you okay? a mansion full of fucking zombies Don't and worry, bioweapons? Me. Just rescue the survivors. And everyone's dead. The rooms. Here. Now you would have thought they would have you sent another team out there just to you know, you make sure. But... To unlock the doors in the hall with this. Hey, that's Raccoon City for go. you. Full of idiots. But... Oh, and obviously Police Just Irons go. was uh, corrupt as shit. Yo, man, you can't point a gun at her. Hey. Look at that. What's that? We got some 7-Up and too. some Coke there. <laughs> oh, yeah, so this was Leon's, like, little... Uh... Only two days to retirement. <laughs> Whoop. So we go to the old computer. Do you want to use the computer? Yes, I do. Unlock all the doors. Ah, so, uh... Old backtracking. <laughs> How I don't miss that in games, I'm not going to lie. As much as I love Resident Evil games, the whole backtracking was a bit like, oh, please. So we're going to go down this way. All of the fun stuff is on this side of the, the police station, in my opinion. You get the liquor, you get the stars room. This really reminds me of that room where you got pushed. Oh, whoa, there he is. There's liquor in uh, Resident Evil 1. 
where you push the statue, you get the map, and then you go into the iconic like dog room. I'm guessing the layout's very it's very similar to that. I've never actually thought of that. <laughs> oh, there's another creepy window. So I'm gonna show you, if you don't know, a cool little trick. Oh my god, his head. His head's missing, I must touch it. It seems to have been twisted off. Oh, drip, drip, drip. Let's go. What is this? Blood. I hope it isn't Chris's blood. Yo, introduction to a new enemy right off the bat. We're like, what, 10 minutes in? This is crazy. <laughs> I want to know in the comment section down below, what was your favourite enemy in Resident Evil 2? Mine probably is the liquor. But I'm going to show you a really, really cool little trick. Motherfucker ain't going to do shit to me. Why? Because he can't hear me. He's not going to do anything. If I keep still, look, he can come right up to me. Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> You just ruined my trick, you little bastard. Come off the ball. Fuck you. I think that's maybe because I moved her. But yeah, if you keep still, he's not going to do anything. I was just probably getting a bit too cocky. <laughs> this also happens with stairs. If there are small staircases in Resident Evil games, if you don't know, uh, zomp uh, any enemies can't actually attack you. <laughs> Any Resident Evil veteran will know this. Any like Resident Evil Zero is like one of the biggest games for that. If there's any small set of staircases, uh, they won't come into the hitbox, which is like a really strange thing. Kind of really cool as well. You have to be a bit of old Re Resident Evil uh, veteran to figure out actually. Yeah? Oh yeah, I forgot. There's no no quick turning. Whoa! Okay, this is what why I hate this fucking gun. I mean, I shot someone else that I wasn't even intending to fucking hit. You go down. See ya. So, I don't know if I'll do anything like puzzles. Is there any point? This isn't a proper let's play. This is me just nostalgia over some Resident Evil and fucking around. So, talking about weapons, considering I hate this fucking crossbow thing. I also want to know in the comment section down below, what is your favourite weapon? Um, it was, but this is a really simple puzzle. I was a real big fan of custom magnum and custom shotgun with the custom parts. I mean, those guns were filthy. I don't think we've had a better magnum or a better shotgun in Resident Evil so far. Yo, here's the stars room. Greatness. So there's lots of really cool little Easter eggs to show you guys. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've seen them like a thousand times. But here's a picture of all the stars members. I don't know who the bold guy on the end is meant to be. Is he meant to be uh, the guy from Resident Evil Zero that dies on the train? And then this is Wesker's desk. If you click it 50 times, splicey splicey, you'll get a Rebecca's Chambers uh, film. And there we go, we've got some uh, some films, some photos. Um, I want to go develop this in a bit, <laughs> show you the cool stuff we get. Well, that's not really that cool. It's, it's probably the worst little Easter egg. But there we go, there's Chris's jacket. I was talking about that earlier. This is Chris's desk. Chris's diary. We've gone to Europe and fucked off. <laughs> See ya. Essentially what it says. I've been really tempted to do like maybe my top five or top ten Resident Evil diaries because there are some kick-ass diaries in Resident Evil. Some really creepy ones other than the iconic itchy tasty. <laughs> there are some other really good ones. And then here's Jill's desk and there's a little beret. It's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it is a boyfriend. Hmm. Well we never find that out do we? And then, this is obviously Rebecca Chambers. It's a Rookies. Uh, there is like a first aid spray in there, but you know, who gives a shit? Oh, wait a minute. What have we got in here? The grenade launcher with infinite ammunition. Well, we're going to have some fun with that bad boy, aren't we? <laughs> in comes the facts. Oh, no, no, in the comment section down below. What is the best Resident Evil game, in your guys' opinion? Like, I still think that this... This game could arguably be in the runnings for it. There's a film. I can still think it could be the very best Resident Evil game. There we go, Recruit. Haha, <laughs> Rebecca Chambers. A little pervy picture. What were you doing with that, Wesker? This, I just, I keep thinking, oh my god, the nemesis is going to burst for the walls <laughs> with his rocket launcher soon. And I'm thinking, wrong game. <laughs> Go back this way. Is this where we get? Yeah, here we go. Here's the jump scare. Beautiful. Get off me. 
Nah, it's not that one, is it? Ah, oh, this one. This is it. Oh, zombie. I'm hoping Resident Evil 2 Remake gets all these little crappy jump scares. <laughs> It'll be incredible. The police station's really, really linear, yeah, and um, you can smash out super quick. I think like my best time, and this is a time when I was like 12, was like hour 40, which I think is pretty damn impressive considering we're talking the days before walkthrough, before YouTube. Whoa, lots of zombies. So the most amount of zombies you can have on screen at once in this Oh shit, you're still alive, you bastard. You can have up to seven zombies, which is pretty cool. So, spicy spicy. Let's have a little bit of a jump. Oh, hey you. Oh, that didn't even hit him. Fucking hit the table. Oh well. Never mind. Oh. Let's shoot you too, my good man. You can die. Oh, hello. Look at these zombies thinking that oh well, he's gonna get up later anyway. Bastard. So guys, that was me playing a bit of Resident Evil 2, having a bit of fun. So in the comment section down below, I want to know your thoughts on Resident Evil 2. I want to know what was your favourite boss fight in Resident Evil 2. Um, for me, I, I think it was Birkin when you come down on that big train. I thought that was really, really rad. Uh, yeah, I want to know who's your favourite character, who's introduced. Is it like Ada, is it Claire, Leon, is it William Birkin, is it Sherry, even though she's terrible. Whoever it is, if you enjoyed the video, please give it the old thumbs up, share it around, subscribe. Click that notification bell, you'll get more anime, manga, more comic books and more video game crazy little let's plays. Pop up in your feed. Catch you next time. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. <laughs>